He's a stealthy, silver-haired veteran of the spy game with a cranky attitude and a rather conspicuous piece of headgear. Sam Fisher, this is your extra life. Enrolled at a young age in a military boarding school, you spent the majority of your formative years training to become the ruthlessly effective field operative you're known as today. You did, however, find some time for romance, marrying a fellow CIA operative and fathering a daughter, Sarah. Unfortunately, just like your professional life, you prefer to work alone and the relationship soon fizzled. Sarah went to live with her mother and you began employment with a sneaky government subdivision known as Third Echelon. They utilised your skills in shadowy sneaking and brutal interrogation to save the world from time to time by allowing you the fifth freedom, also known as the freedom to stack guards in a large pile. They geared you up with military tech such as spy cameras, sticky shockers, and of course your now infamous night vision goggles with their trio of green lights that patrolling guards were somehow oblivious to. This gadgetry coupled with your mix of covert acrobatics and aggressive diplomacy made you almost indestructible. That was until tragedy struck and Sarah was killed by a drunk driver. After that, your life quickly unravelled. You went rogue and before long, things had gone from bad to worse. Soon, you were so deep undercover, it would take a miracle to drag you out again. Luckily, this miracle took the form of an old colleague, still employed by the now corrupt Third Echelon, who informed you that Sarah's death had been staged to protect you both. With this new information, you set about to reclaim your old life and in doing so, expose the mole who led to the agency's downfall. You're the mole. And while all this danger and stress would be enough to send any normal person to an early grave, you've managed to use both these global and personal conflicts as some sort of fountain of youth, coming out of each daring escapade looking younger and younger. Now fresh-faced and re-energised, you lead the reformed and imaginatively renamed Fourth Echelon into a new era of espionage. Welcome to Fourth Echelon. And while you may be looking more Jason Bourne than born in the 50s, you're still the steely-voiced, leg-splitting senior citizen we remember slinking around the shadows with, saving the world one neck snap at a time.